hello everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question tenzing and sundu which is of code 10 round 5 now the question states that both are playing a card game sundu has n monsters with ability values a1 to an while tenzing has m monsters with ability values b1 to bn now Sondu and Tenzing take turns making moves with Sondu going first. In each move the current player chooses two monsters, one on their side and one on the other side. Then these monsters will fight with each other. Suppose the ability values for chosen monsters are x and y, then ability values of monster will become x minus y and y minus x respectively. If ability value of any monster is smaller than or equal to zero, the monster would die. Now, the game would end when at least one player has no monster left alive. The winner is the player with at least one monster left alive. If both player has no monster left alive, the game ends in the draw. So, we need to find the result of the game when both players play optimally. So, let's consider the first case. The first case states that we have 9 in case of Sundu and for Tenzing we have 1, 2 and 3 so first what uh, we have is Sundu has the Sundu has the first turn so as Sundu has the first turn he would choose here 1 suppose so it would give x minus y and y minus x. So for Zundu, the value becomes 8. For Tenzing, it is minus 8, 2, 3. Now, as minus 8 is there, as the value becomes negative, the monster dies so this is removed we are only left with 2 and 3 in next move it will be 8 minus 2 and 2 minus 8 so 2 minus 8 is also negative this will be removed next we have 6 minus 3 and 3 minus 6 here also it would be negative then this would be removed so this list becomes empty as soon as this list becomes empty we can see that a monster here is alive hence Sundu wins this game now thinking about the C++ approach or the coding approach to this solution uh, to this problem so the approach is very easy first you can sort these list in the reverse order uh, taking a big list here let's take this list so in reverse order it would be three two times and then two is five times and then we have one three times after this uh, we sort this list this is already sorted so we write it as it is three is four times in this case two is one time and rest of the time we have once less now once we have sorted this list let's take the first element of both of them we have 3 as the first element and 3 as the first element of this one also so we take the difference difference here is 0 
so as the difference is zero here so both of the monster would die because for less than or equal to zero the monster dies so hence both these elements are removed similarly in this case now in the next case we have difference as minus one now we see that difference between these two elements is negative so we check which element is greater so we have the element of second list greater so in second list we will put the value 1 and for the next list this will be removed because it would die because of minus 1 here here it would be plus 1 so it remains and this would become 1 and this is totally removed we don't have any element here so now our list is this and here our list is this after this again we check and same goes on here we have one here when we check we have zero so both are removed so here these two will be removed and here this will be removed now checking in this case two and one so in case of two and one we have positive one here and negative one here so this will be completely removed again in this case one is completely removed now all the elements are removed as they become equal so iterating one by one we check these elements and what we are left with is the first list becomes 1 1 as these three are removed and for the second list this is removed this is removed so what we are left with 1 1 from here so let our first list be v1 second list be v2 now to check how many monsters are left we calculate the size of this list so the size of v1 is 2 size of v2 is also 2 hence this would end up in draw which is the answer now let's see through a small test case how sondu or tenzing would win so let's take the case third which is this case so we have one two three which would be three two one and for other we have one one now we check here three and one three is obviously bigger so we have two here and one is removed now checking two and one we have one here one is removed here it is empty so one is remaining now we see that the list is second list is completely empty so the size of v1 is 3 size of v2 is 0 now as v1 size is greater or only v1 is left so sondu wins hence the answer here is sondu so just we need to uh, do this approach one approach would be to measure the size after it
one approach would be to measure the size of the list after the whole iteration or else what we can do is we can iterate till the list becomes empty and keep on popping the elements one by one and calculating now in this case what we can do further is we can check one one so these will be removed this will be removed so both will become zero both sides will become zero hence it would also lead to draw so we can use any approach from both of them and both would work hope this solution works for you all thanks for watching